Hey guys, it's Kathy bringing you a fairly longish haul video today, and uh, that is I received in the mail quite a few Makeup Geek eyeshadows or mug eyeshadows uh, created by Marlena. Uh, you'll be able to see her channel on YouTube. Um, I got quite a few of them and I've sorted them into four different palettes so I'll be opening up the palettes and showing you the colours. I'm not going to swatch them for you but I will give you a little bit of a rundown on each one. So the first the first thing I'll, I'll say before I get into the actual um, eyeshadows is a little bit about them. Uh, I got, I think it was 31 colours but they were in pan forms so they cost $6 each or $5.99 which is uh, quite a bit cheaper than say your MAC pans which if you're in Australia can cost upwards of $32 sort of thing. I'm not exactly 100% sure how much they cost in the US uh, but they are amazing quality and they are definitely on par with your, your higher ends. I know I was thinking that um, some of the purples were very similar to sort of your Urban Decay shadow so I was very pleased with that. Uh, so the quality is definitely there. And uh, I have played around with them. I've done a, a neutral look on my eyes with some of them. Uh, so yes, I will get right into it. Uh, so the first palette I'll do is my neutral palette. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 eyeshadows in here that are Makeup Geek. So the first one, which is Vanilla Bean, is just a matte cream colour. Then I've got Bada Bing, which is a very dark red-brown with glitter which is a lovely colour. It's what I have in my crease at the moment. Uh, next I have Homecoming, which is a, it's a, a light brown, but it has a bit of a um, purpley undertone. Then I've got, I think this is, yes, Coco Bear, which is a matte finish red-brown. Reminds me of a lot of the um, uh, red soils around uh, where I used to grow up, so it's a lovely colour. I'm running through these quite quickly because there are a lot of shadows. Uh, the next one is Pretentious, which is a brown but has some gold undertones and it's a lovely sh um, shimmer finish. Uh, it's almost like a uh, antique gold colour with a little bit of bronze in it, so lovely. Uh, the next one is Brown Sugar, which is just a shimmery mid-tone brown, great for blending out into the crease. Then we've got Gold Digger, which is a very bright gold shimmer colour. Uh, if you're wanting to do a comparison with, say, Amber Lights from MAC, this one is much brighter. I do have Amber Lights here, and you can see the difference. Um, this is Amber Lights, and it's much, much brighter. Uh, sorry, it's much darker. It actually goes here. So. Uh, and then I've got Glamorous, which is a bit darker than Amber Lights from MAC. Uh, and it's it's a gold colour but it has a bit of copper in there as well and it is just beautiful. So maybe look at that one. It was actually this colour that I saw which when I first saw that online I went, yep, I'm buying some of these eyeshadows because they look amazing. And then the last one is Goddess which is just a very bright copper shimmer colour. Um, it's a bit darker than say Mythology so uh, it can be used in the crease colour as well. So those are the neutral colours that I got, so a lot of fun to play with them. Uh, this palette is what I've used on my eyes uh, today, so I've got Gold Digger on the lid, Butter Bing in the crease, and a little bit of Vanilla Bean to blend out. Next one I will go to my, what's left of my Cool palette. So we've got, oh and if you're wondering, these little palettes I got for $5 off of eBay, they're just 12 pan magnetised palettes. So, which is really good because all Makeup Geek pans are um, magnetised anyway, so they will uh, stick in. So this is my cool palette, what's left of it. Uh, so the first one is Twilight, which is a light silvery purple colour. Absolutely beautiful, look fantastic on the lid, just gorgeous. Then we've got, what's this? Moon Dust, which is a very, it's a silver colour, but it is a dark, almost dirty grey silver colour. Uh, and if you swatch it, it actually has um, almost a purple shimmer to it as an undertone. So, something there, gorgeous. Uh, then you've got Sensuous, which 
I was actually a little bit disappointed with this. Sensuous and Twilight, they look completely different in the pan. They swatch fairly similar. Sensuous is still a little darker, but like if you look here, it looks like it is completely different. But when they swatch, they're actually quite similar. But um, it's just a, a mid-tone purple uh, shimmer. The reason is, is this one, Twilight, is it actually swatches a lot darker than it looks like in the pan. This one here, I think is probably going to become my favorite color ever. It's burlesque and it is a, a beautiful red, rich red purple plum. And honestly, it has got to be the most gorgeous color I have ever seen. Look at that. Oh my goodness, is that just not amazing? So, um, it's even better. Like, I knew when I um, bought it that it was going to be good, but it's even better in person. So, very happy about that one. And then this one is Drama Queen. So, it's just a very dark mid tone purple with shimmer. So, gorgeous. This one here is Mercury, and unlike Moon Dust, this is a much brighter silver, and it's a true silver, so it doesn't have any colour in it. Uh, it's, it is very, very bright, and it's almost like a molten silver. So, um, I don't actually own any silver eyeshadows. I've only got greys, and I don't tend to use them very often, so this will actually be really good. It'll get me um, uh, started in creating some looks using them, which will be good. And then the last one is, if anybody knows about Makeup Geek eyeshadows, uh, their black is the blackest black of all blacks that have ever been created as a matte black. It is unbelievable. Um, it's called Corrupt. And I've just literally lightly touched my hand. And you can't see any skin at all under that. It is just black. So, pretty happy with that to be honest. So that is the Cool Palette. Next one I'll do is what's left of the warm palette and you'll probably think when you see this that's not warm there, also cool. With all the other eyeshadows in it, it makes it look a lot warmer than it actually is. So, this is what's in it. So here I've got Cinderella, which is a lovely light peachy corally pink colour. Uh, very pretty, looks good on the lid, great for summer, it's not too dark, it's, it's just a light happy colour. And then I'm going to be matching it up quite a bit with this one here, which is Mango Tango, which again is a lovely peachy colour, but a bit brighter and a bit, bit darker, but still a really bright colour. Uh, the funny thing is, mangoes are generally yellow or very, very bright orange where I come from, so when I was thinking of looking at this and going, it's not really a mango colour. That's alright. Uh, this colour here is Razzleberry, and I think of all the colours, this is probably the most fun. Uh, and that's the only word I can describe it. It is bright, bright pink, red, like it's a really dark pink. It is pretty well red, but it has massive chunks of gold glitter through it. And it is such a fun colour. Um, it's the only way I can really, really describe it. I think you can see that there. So, yes, so much fun. And then this one here is Chickadee, and it is just a very bright orange colour, matte finish. So uh, I think I'll probably use this if I'm wanting to do like a gradient uh, gradient look, so like really dark reds down the bottom and bring it up, this would be a lovely colour for up in here, uh, just as sort of the final yellow colour. Uh, the next colour is Bitten, which is this one here. I was a little disappointed about this one. I When I read it, it said Bitten was a very, very dark, almost a blood red color. It's not really. It's it's definitely more purple than, than true red, but that's all right. Um, the pigmentation is amazing on it, uh, and I love the finish. It blends well, so very happy with it, but um, it's just not quite the color that I was after. And then the last one is Last Dance, which is quite similar to Bitten, simply because Bitten was different to what I expected it to be, but it's, um, it's definitely more purple, a bit lighter, and uh, it's Pigmentation is not quite as strong as with Bitten, which is this one. So that does the warmer palette. And then the final one, which is probably as a palette my favourite, and it's my colours, which are my blues and my greens. Let's open her up. This is what she looks like. So, and just starting from the top, the first one is Apple Teeny which is a very bright green. It's actually well named because um, it looks identical to Granny Smith apples, the green apples that you get uh, in the supermarket here in Australia. So, well named. Uh, the next one is Shimmer Mint, which is this one here, which is again a very bright green, but this one definitely has more yellow in it. 
uh, but it's a beautiful color, perfect for summer. Uh, pair that up with maybe a few yellows, uh, and you've got just the best look ever, in my opinion. Well, maybe not, but it would look good. Uh, this one here is Sea Mist, and this is a fairly um, deep to mid-tone green with blue turquoise through it. So it definitely comes out green, but there's definitely a blue undertone too there. So, beautiful colour, can mix it with either greens or blues and it'll work well. And then this one here is Mermaid. It's sort of the opposite to Sea Mist. Instead of being green with blue undertones, it's blue with a little bit of green undertones. Uh, but these two colours are very different when swatched. This one definitely appears, whoops, this one, the one I'm talking about, the one that's Mermaid, Swatch is blue. It is definitely a blue colour. Uh, this colour here is Dirty Martini and it is just, as the name suggests, a very dark, dirty olive colour. Uh, it's a matte finish and it would be amazing in the uh, in the crease. Perhaps uh, pair it up with, woo, let's try not to close it, uh, Shimmer Mint on the lid with a little bit of Dirty Martini in the crease. You've got a wonderful look there and then blend it out with a brown. And then this colour here is Envy, and it's just a very, very dark, it, it swatches almost in the black range. Um, dark green, and uh, forest green with a lovely shimmer. I actually think that this one here is perfect, like if you're wanting to do a really dark, smoky eye, and you're not wanting to use black and you're wanting to use a green, this colour is amazing because it almost comes out black but it'll blend out and in the blending the green really comes through so love it. And then into the blues we've got Ocean Breeze which is uh, a sort of a grey blue colour. It's actually lighter swatched than it is when it's in the pan so it's a bit lighter than what you see there but if you layer it up it darkens up so you can use it in the crease if you want but it also makes a lovely lid color this one here is peacock it is a matte finish and it looks bright bright blue in the pan and it was funny when i bought it i actually thought oh i was hoping for a bit more of a green but it didn't look green at all i swatched it and when it comes out it ends up looking green blue green like it's it's amazing it looks blue in the pan but when you swatch it, this is the only one I'm swatching, so when you swatch it, it looks blue-green. It is amazing. Marlena did an amazing job with this colour. It's a tricky one. So, very happy with it. It is a bit darker than I was expecting. I thought it would be a little bit lighter, but um, I don't care. It still has that blue-green quality. I'm very happy. And then the last one is Nautica, which is a very, it's quite a dark, shimmery, true mid-tone blue. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't say it's true blue. It actually, when it swatches, it has a bit more of a purple mm, undertone to it. So, uh, it would work well if you're wanting to wear it with lighter purples. Uh, it would still work well. So, ugh, ran through those at a rapid pace. Um, those are all the Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I got. I'm looking forward to playing around with them quite a bit. Like I said, I just did a neutral neutral look on the eyes. Um, I'm sure I will be doing tutorials and posting them at some point about them, particularly that burlesque colour. I am just in love with it. So yes, stay tuned for those. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Just comment below. Uh, please subscribe. The button is up there. You know I love them. Uh, and other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it informative. I will put the um, link to the Makeup Geek store, Marlena's YouTube, and also the different colours that I bought, and just a bit of a description about them down below. Other than that, I think that's about it, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!